Dedication. Hi, I'm Greg Stanforth. I'm your new art teacher. This series of videos is derived from my as yet unpublished book, Codex, a left-handed art teacher's memoir and legacy. And like the book, is not only dedicated to all of my former students, but is my gift and thanks for all they have given to me. To honor them, I present their work, my opinions and comments in a sketchbook style. I especially want to thank Bob Fisher and Chad Bork. They have both been encouraging and persistent in their encouragement. I would also like to thank all of the former students who have graciously given me permission to reproduce their work from their high school scholarship portfolios and sketchbooks for these videos and the Codex book. Thank you. Hi, I'm Greg Stanforth, still. I'm here again to welcome you to the world of art, the fine arts, and design, the applied arts. Art can be a wonderful and fun hobby. It is at least therapeutic. It can also become a challenging and rewarding career. Those of you interested in making a career of the visual arts have come to the right place. I assume you are a young artist who would like to become a professional artist, designer, architect or photographer, but have been told that you are not talented or gifted enough. Maybe you've also been told that all oh, artists starve and you can't make a decent living as an artist. These statements are false. I'm not here to give you all the answers, but I am here to help motivate you to think for yourself and to find your own answers. You are a young artist, and you have something to say. You think you want to say it with images, art. If you persist in your dream to become an artist, and you are willing to do what it takes to become an artist, you will succeed. I'm always impressed that young artists, in the face of all of art history, believe that they have something new to offer to the world of art. This was my motivation for pursuing a career as an art, art history, design, and photography teacher. There is a reason why you have an interest in art. You have the inner dreams because you are supposed to achieve them and you are equipped to do so. Really. Don't forget, you will make mistakes and have failures. Learn from them, then forget them. Remember, you have not forfeited your dreams because you have made mistakes. If you want to go to art college, get accepted, and be competitive for scholarships, I suggest you watch my videos. In my almost 40-year career as teaching studio art, design, art history, and photography from kindergarten through college, as an admissions representative and adjunct professor, I gained the experience necessary to help you achieve the goals of pursuing a career in the visual arts. My videos will present to you a complete program that will prepare you for entrance into a professional program of the visual arts and design at the college level. These videos will cover many topics designed to help you achieve your goal. The first videos will be about the importance of art in society. Next will come the sketchbook and drawing from observation and imagination. Drawing was the heart of my program and the sketchbook was the backbone. You ultimately will need to produce a portfolio in order to gain entrance to and be competitive for college scholarships. The amount, whether modest or great, will depend on your portfolio and grades. Don't ever let anyone tell you your other classes and grades are not important. They are just as important as your portfolio. Hi guys. All right, before we begin uh, our videos on the importance of art and the sketchbook, I have a recommendation here and uh, actually your first two assignments. Your first assignment uh, is optional but highly recommended. Before graduating from high school, get your own copy and read these three books. The first is The Artist's Way, A Path to Higher Creativity by Julia Cameron. Excellent book. Every artist, no matter your medium, needs to read this book. Very inspirational. The second one is The Shape of, of Content by Ben Sean. 
this was a Charles Eliot Norton lecture at Harvard University. It's printed by Harvard University Press. Another inspirational book. Third one is Outliers, The Story of Success by Malcolm Gladwell. This book is essential to you if you are interested in success. Read that book. All right, assignment number two. You need to purchase a sketchbook. You can purchase any, any brand, any size that you want, but I have some recommendations. I think it's a big struggle and very intimidating to use a book this big. I would kind of avoid it, unless it's something you really want to do. What I recommend and what I use and what I would always give to my students were moleskin sketchbooks like this. Uh, that's just the brand I like. Uh, you can have a different brand. They're just a nice size. This is, this is a comfortable page. You can fit something on here. And I want you, of course, to do like what I've done here. Make the outside yours. Make it unique. Have your name on it. And then, you know, it's nice to do drawings inside. Always fill the page up. And they also make another one. This is a widescreen. <laughs> Two-page spread here. Another moleskin. This has watercolor paper. It's very nice. Also, don't forget that unique cover. It's all you. Okay, so that's your first assignment. Get those two books and get your sketchbooks. But, I should have said, not said but. <laughs> All right, I've mentioned that we will start off with videos on the importance of art in society and sketchbooks. Good. There will be lots of other topics that we cover. Uh, I'm going to give you some ideas here. Why we value things. Talent and passion, the creative process, illusion and observation, opinions versus facts, the critique, what is art, the fine arts, the applied arts, style, politics, religion and sex, the college visit, outside art experiences, organization and professionalism, just to name a few. Uh, and also loads of assignments. You will get lots of assignments about every video at the end of each video just like I gave you the assignment about the books and the sketchbook. I'm going to give you an art assignment, something you can work on and hopefully add to your portfolio. Just remember that all of these assignments are assignments designed to be the quality that would end up in your portfolio. So do your best. Lastly, all of the images in these videos will be the work of my former students produced from 1982 to 2018. In many cases, they will speak themselves about their work. And I get to enjoy knowing that they're embarrassed looking at how they were when they were just 15. <laughs> this is a self-portrait I did of myself, which I kind of like, you know, I don't know.